What do you guys do when somebody hits you up with a MLM pitch? Do you troll them? Do you laugh at them? Do you cringe? I want to tell you guys a story. So I just left the barber shop. Me and my business partner, we go to the same barber. And I've been pretty much grinding all day. It's Friday, April 12th at 11.49. Literally just got home. And while my barber um, cut up, gave my, uh, my business partner a cut first, then I jumped in the chair and he basically just gave me a shape up. I already, you know, this is the length of hair that I like my hair at. So he basically just shaped me up and, you know, trimmed the sides, cut around the edges. And this is how I like it for another, you know, two, three weeks. Then I'll go get a full cut. And while I'm in the chair getting cut, um, my business partner showed up to the side. And another guy in the barber shop is talking to him, something around business stocks or something. Couldn't really hear the full conversation. But what I made the conversation out to be was I heard bits and pieces of like, you recruit this person, you recruit that person, five people on your team, this, that, the third. And I automatically know that talk to be MLM, multi level marketing, or, you know, some sort of pyramid scheme. Now, I know those business models aren't pyramid schemes. A lot of people call them pyramid schemes who, you know, know nothing about business. And the problem with those pyramid schemes or multi level marketing or network marketing is a lot of people that get involved with that literally know nothing about business. They get introduced to the business based off the lifestyle or they get introduced to this business off hype. They don't really know how business works, the process and what it takes. And um, man, don't think that you're just going to get involved in business, at least not me. I know it happens to some people, but I've been doing business since 2014 and I'm just starting now to see success. I'm not a millionaire by any means, but I own three properties. I own three businesses um, and I'm doing way better than I was, you know, four or five years ago. But like I said, I think a lot of people get involved with that business model simply because of what they think it could be, but they don't actually realize that you have to put in work, you have to develop skill sets, you have to gain a lot of knowledge. You have to, this is, this isn't, a joke you really have to work it if you want your business to work you have to work your business so a lot of people don't realize that they get involved they pitch their friends and family join my mlm join my mlm they go on their facebook and you know spam people and realize oh my god this takes work and they quit so obviously you can make money with it i know a lot of people i don't know a lot of people but i've heard about a lot of people who made a full-time income i think one person that i heard of is alex morton millionaire off multi-level marketing or network marketing so it works it's just something that i wouldn't do and don't have any plan to do so when i heard it i was just like oh my god man <laughs> and my business partner he's funny because he was really like entertaining and he didn't want to be like man i'm not doing that man he was entertaining it and when we stepped outside i was like Dude, was he pitching you on a multi-level marketing and i come to find out he wasn't actually hold on one second he wasn't being pitched on a multi-level marketing. They were talking about something, but I thought it was multi-level marketing and I was just cringing. And um, I know this guy on Facebook, another real estate investor. He actually is from New Jersey, but he lives down south now. And he's always trolling multi-level marketers saying like just how aggressive they are, man, because like they're so new in business. They don't know how to build relationships. They don't know how to like really have any entrepreneurial skill sets. So they're just like beating you down like join my team join my team join my team what you don't want to make money you don't want to be successful uh, they're trying to tell me like all statistics about people who have jobs or go to college and how that's a scam like man i already know that so it's like like i said i'm not a millionaire i don't know everything i keep myself humble but it's just the direct approach that those multi-level marketing network marketing guys or girls have is just so salesy and it's just like damn man like do you care about me or you just care about my pockets and that's the thing. It's just like, you got to know how to build the relationships. You got to show, you know, you got to, you can't just be all about the money. People can feel right through that. So when I, when I heard them, it was just like, ah, man, that's cringy. Sometimes it's like, you can ignore them. If I get hit up on Facebook about somebody trying to pitch me their MLM, sometimes I'll just troll them. But it's just like, man, nobody wants to do that, man. You just want to make money. You want to have a business you control. And that's another thing. Like you get involved with that business. You build up four or 500 people on your team. And then the multi-level marketing company goes down. Since you don't own it, you got to restart. You could maybe be making a hundred, 200 grand a month. The business tanks and you tank with it. So that's a number one rule. I always say that's why I do real estate. That's why I flip medical commodities. Cause those are two business models that I could have as much control as possible with. And, um, 
yeah, man, I just, I just think it's funny. Like, I <laughs> just like, yo, I don't want to join your multi-level marketing. Sometimes I'll troll them. Sometimes I'll cringe. And uh, today, when he was, when he was trying to pitch my business partner, I was just like cringing. Like, obviously, we're not swaying from that. We're not going anywhere besides the two to three business models that we have. Um, I do some stuff with YouTube. I flip medical commodities, and obviously, I do real estate. And no matter how long it's taking you to get it popping or to make your business work, do not switch up. Don't go from one thing to the next thing, to the next thing, to this thing, to that thing. Don't go in 5 million different directions, no matter how long it's taking you to make it work, because every time you restart, you lose momentum. Stay the course, stay persistent, stay consistent, and make it work. And you're gonna see the power of momentum is so crazy, man. Um, and those multi-level marketing businesses, if you're looking for a quick business model, that you want to know how to make money it's not multi-level marketing if you're looking for a quick business model to get you paid today i would say it's flipping medical commodities and if you want to learn more about that you can click the first link down in the description below but uh i swear every time i hear a multi-level marketing pitch man it's like my ears are burning man i don't want to hear no more i'm done i'm good um sometimes they'll, they'll get me to come to their event but that i think i went to one event like in 2014 I joined some MLM or something like my beginning of my uh, entrepreneurship career, but at the same time I was doing real estate as well. But uh, man, I, I don't like that, man. I like being genuine. Like, you know, when someone asks me about my program where I teach people how to flip medical commodities, I want to build the relationship. The relationship, which these multi-level marketers don't understand, is way more powerful than a little bit of money. $200, $300, that's not going to change your life. What's going to change your life is by building other people up and helping them succeed and really helping them succeed. And that's why I started showing people how to flip medical commodities. And I'm only going to be showing 100. I've already showed probably like, I think between 50 and 60 because I know when I build people up and I already built somebody up. I actually bought my second rental property with him. When you build others up, that's how you can never come down. You see these record labels who have 20, 30 artists on the Billboard 100. That's where the real money is. Putting out a few songs, that's good money. But the money that's real is when, you know, I manage 30 artists. I own this artist. I sign Little Baby. I sign A Boogie. I sign um, Kodak Black. I own all these rappers' contracts. And because you build them up, I take care of you, you take care of me. That is the real riches. And that's what a lot of those multi level marketing guys don't understand. So, that's what I want to talk about. I heard the conversation in the barbershop today. I was just like, I got to make a video on this. Um, my business partner was entertaining the guy, but uh, you know, those multi-level marketing things, nonsense. That's just my opinion. If you guys have any funny stories about you know getting pitched on a multi-level marketing or going to some event and drinking some energy drink, post it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys got to say. Again, if you guys enjoyed the video, can you put a like on it? It really helps my channel grow. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.